Welcome to BlackstoneBass.com, where the bite is on. Hey, if you're following me on this uh, 1996 24-foot Albemarle build, uh, we almost got the engine ready. We're so excited, but before we can get the engine in the boat, we have to get the bells area ready. And you know, everything runs to the bells, the grease, the oil, the dirt. So I'm going to show you how to get it cleaned and prepped up for painting in this episode. Uh, two, two things I can give you for advice. Get a bunch of different brushes, different sizes. Uh, this one here is for grouting, um, different scrub brushes, and also all the way down to a toothbrush to get around all these little nooks and crannies and wires. And I'll let you in on another secret if you don't tell. Shh. Get some child labor. As you see, I have my nephew wide helping me. Little people can fit into Belge a lot easier than big people. So we hope you enjoyed this episode, and don't forget to subscribe. First thing we got to do here is remove the motor cover. We want to clean the Belge of this 1996 uh 24 foot album oil. so let's remove the motor cover and see what we find i'm gonna clean this bilge and the first thing you want to do after you remove the cover is remove the engine and we've already done that as you can see um it looks pretty clean i've seen them a lot worse uh, you see all that gunk in the bottom over there that oil and, and stuff in the bottom this has to be scrubbed and clean completely clean Maybe put some acetone or some kind of cleaner on it and then paint it with some uh, belge coat. So we'll get it ready for the new engine. Uh, the new engine is almost ready. It needs exhaust manifolds and risers. So we need to get this part of the boat ready to receive the engine. So it don't look that bad, but it's a lot of work, believe me. All right, you can see the work cut out for us on this belge. We're going to use some, uh, any kind of degreaser. You know, we got some mean green and we got some grease lightning. Just got to get all this gunk out of here so you can get it as clean as you can get it. You want to be able to eat a potato chip off of it. Then you got to put some acetone and then put the belch coat on. So we'll see how it turns out. Now you know what, you know what they say about being upside down on your head working in a boat. We got... It's not easy for a big guy. Should be able to Move this pump now from its frame. There we go. Now it's got to move the two screws. Get my handy dang screws around. She should be right out. There we go. Okay, I got the bilge pump out of the way. I'm going to take the rest of the screws out later. Uh, all right, let's have to wait for now. Hope it don't take on any water. There's no more belch pumps. All right, trying to take this fire extinguisher out. Get it out of the way. There we go. Check it. it needs to be clean. It says full. We'll probably get a new one. Wouldn't hurt. Got me an old couch cushion here. I knew it would come in handy one day for some. So I'm gonna lay down on this so I can reach down in this bottom without it killing my stomach and my back. Like I said, a belge is not easy for a big guy like myself. not looking too bad as you can see it's coming right off with all this old oil and grease she almost look like it don't need to be painted <clears throat> as you can see we got a little bit of it done there big difference my nephew Wyatt did such a good job on the out drive. I figured who better to fit in the belge? He's a good little scrubber. We got half of it cleaned already. How's it feel being down in the belge? Feels Tight. tough? Tight. <laughs> you ought to see me but you ought to see me down there. We are trying to clean this back wall out. We got the belge halfway clean where we can leave stand in it. So we're trying to get this back wall because everything runs down in the belge, of course, as you know. It 
Still clean this old bilge out. We got her about down to the nitty gritty on the bottom. We cleaned the sides, the front, the hull, but you know, every time you do something, it goes back down in the bilge. So you see this little pile. I don't know if you can see it or not, it's about dark. Of course, I ain't been out here all day and all night. <laughs> Feel like it. But I'm trying to get this last little bit of water. I need to jack the boat up, the front of the boat, so I can get down and get the rest of this out of the bottom. Well, we got the back of the bilge pretty clean in the boat, so now we're up in the front because everything runs to the back. So we need to get all this grease and oil out so it won't mess up our job. Why is this easier than being down in the bilge in the back? A whole lot easier. <laughs> all right, you can hear that water running. I got the water hose up underneath the front of the boat to get this bottom clean. Notice I only got clean water coming out now. It's important to go clean your uh, bottom of your boat, you know, as low as the bilge is in the front. Because everything up front has got old grease and dirt and it runs down to the back to your clean area. Now all I got to do is get those little bit of particles at the bottom. This baby will be ready to dry up and paint. Notice I got just clean water coming out all the way from the bow of the boat.